it's time for a new major release of PHP Storm. We've got improved blade support, additional static analysis insights, a faster way to do method refactoring, and a lot more. Let's dive in. Let's start with Blade. The PHP Storm team has worked hard on ironing out some little quirks and annoyances, and it's all coming together in this release. You can now use namespaces in Blade files, and you'll have auto-completion for those imported classes available to you throughout the whole file. Internally, PHP Storm used to treat Blade files as separate blocks of Blade code within a PHP file, and that caused some issues. And sometimes you'd lose code completion within the same file, or you wouldn't get the insights you'd expect when combining PHP blocks and Blade code. And that's all fixed now. There's also improved support for newly added directives like checked, disabled, and selected. And a bunch of formatting issues have been fixed as well. Personally, I uh, write quite a lot of Blade code, so I'm very excited about this. In addition to Blade, we also worked on our Twig integration and made improvements to our WordPress insights. Uh, it's too much to list in this one video, uh, but make sure to check out the full feature list. There's a link in the description. And moving on, we made a pretty significant change to how extract method refactoring works. It's now a lot easier and faster to extract code to a separate method because the extract method dialog is no longer shown by default. And just in case you need to access the dialog to tweak some advanced settings, you can click the little cock icon to bring it up again. Let's take a look at static analysis as well. Uh, we added support for a couple more SOM annotations, in addition to support for generic types in method annotations. And these can be very useful when integrating with, for example, framework code. The most significant addition within this category are the improvements to array shapes. It was already possible to have a detailed definition of what's in an array. But in this version, we also support nested array shapes and allow them to be multi-line dog blocks. As developers, we don't always have control over the kinds of data we're dealing with. And so array shapes can be a huge help when working with, for example, third-party code involving plain arrays instead of classes. Um, maybe you're integrating with an API that returns simple arrays. And now you can get full insights into those arrays which would otherwise be just black boxes of data. Now, all of that within your IDE while you're writing code. One final feature I want to tell you about are the new inspections. As with every release, PHP Storm adds new inspections to make your lives as developers easier. And let's take a look at a couple of inspections that you might find useful. We have a new inspection that understands the difference between array merge and array plus array. And it will tell you when duplicate keys are added to an existing array. There's a new inspection that will tell you about the exponentiation operator instead of having to use the POW method. We've also added an inspection that suggests marking private properties as read-only wherever it makes sense to do so. And one that allows constants to be declared final. These inspections are just a couple of the ones we've added, so make sure to check out the full list by clicking the link in the description. It's also worth noting that if you don't want to enable some of these new inspections, you can simply disable them right from your IDE. You don't need to go looking for them in the settings. You just select the inspection you want to disable, press the right arrow on your keyboard, and choose Disable Inspection. And by the way, if you have any feedback on these newly added inspections, don't hesitate to create an issue on Utrek to share your thoughts. There is a lot more to this release than what we've covered in this video. Docker improvements, web dev support, a new notification window, and quite a lot more. Again, you can find a detailed explanation of everything by clicking the link in the description. Make sure to share your thoughts in the comments we appreciate all kinds of feedback. Enjoy PHP Storm 2022.1. Until next time.